Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is a 15 part video series showing you how to create a McDonald's restaurant. Let's get started. So to start, let's open a new architecture template. And let's go to new. Click on the drop down and choose architecture template. And we're going to use a metric template. Just to check, UN, so type in UN, and in, it will have this. You'll be able to see what um, length or format are we using. And we're using millimeters. So that's fine. You can even ch change this to meters if you want. But I rather want millimeters so that we perfectly provide the the exact uh, distance so press ok with that and then here we're going to click on save and then let's save it to our location so once you're in the location what you need to do is just put in the name and then before you click save you could go to option and then here you could choose how many backups you want to be saved here so every time you click save it will back up until 20 if you want to. If you're a beginner, you can leave it at 20. If you're um, intermediate, uh, you can put it at five. And if you wanted to save some space, you can just put one. So it's really up to you. And then once you do, press OK and then save. So now it will save on that location. Once it reach five it will look to the first one again because it only will take only five files so now once we're done with that let's go to our arch architecture and then grid line is right around this you can even type in gr that's the short form of the grid line and then we're going to start our vertical grid line. So I'm going to click below. This is our elevation markers. So usually when you're putting grid lines, you want to put it around the center. So now I'm going to click number one here and then go above. Make sure it's 90 degrees. For the angle so now i'm gonna click above it will create a grid line number one press escape and then escape again what we can do now is we could select our grid line and then we could click on copy under modify command you can even type in co and then once you type in co make sure multiple is checked and then you can grab it from there you can grab it towards on the right side or on the left side but for now we're going to use going on the right side so once you have that what you need to do is you just need to keep on typing so we're going to type in six two five five Next will be 2995, 4270, enter, and let's keep on moving on the right side. This will be 3825, enter, 2945, enter. Two 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 five enter three three five five. Let's keep on going and move on the right side so you can just pan out by holding on the scroll button. You're panning it out. So now we're going to nine. So two seven five zero. 
one four eight five two seven four zero three five nine zero so that's our last one so all in all you have 12 grid lights and then for the elevation tag we could basically just move the grid line in between or we could just move the the tags by itself or the markers next we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the grid line again or type it gr and then now we're gonna change this to horizontal grid line so to start let's click on the right side here going to the left side press escape and then escape again zoom in now it will start uh, number 13 but here we're gonna put in letters so I'm gonna click that grid bubble and then I'm gonna type in capital A and then click on the side here and now we have A press escape double times and then you can select that again and then click on copy or you can type in CO multiple is already checked so that's good we're gonna grab a and then we're gonna drop it down and then we're gonna type in three two two zero next will be four seven 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 next will be three two nine zero and then last we'll have two five two five so we have letters a up to e right here now as you can see we have this grid line all the way and it's extended too much so what we could do is we're going to clean it up i'm going to select one grid line like that and if you notice right here there is some dash line indicating that if we move this one it will move all of them so here i'm going to grab it from here and then i'm just going to move it up like that and as you can see all mostly all of them went up except for this one so we could just fix that and then now everything will be moved all together so like that it's easy to fix if one of them is not cooperating like that and here only up to here is what we have so we could just fix that as well by getting it from there now all of them can be move we can move extend this one because we're going to add in dimensions as well right here so now what we could do is i'm going to select our elevation markers and i'm just going to put this one right about here so that when we have our elevation it's focusing on all of our models here it's too close it's still going to be good but i rather have it focusing on all of them this is good as well but it's too far but i just want to put it right about in the middle and then this one as well just put it right there so we fix our markers as well and then now what we could do is we could add in dimension the way we do is is you just click on the grid line and then from that grid line you just keep on clicking all the grid lines like so so 
So once you do, you can just click on the outside and it will um, fix itself there. Next thing is we're going to add in the overall grid line. Let's do it here as well on our horizontal. So grid line on all grid lines or dimension on all grid lines and then an overall dimension like so. Press escape multiple times and then as you can see we have our all our dimensions. I'm just showing you guys so that you can still follow along and I'm happy with that. Now let's go to our south elevation and then from our south elevation we're going to add in our levels. So here what we could do is we're going to select this and then we're just going to move this all the way on the outside of all our grid lines so that everything is covered. So first one what we could do is we could add in our canopy level. So here I could se select here. Um, it's going to be 10 feet. So what you could do is you could even put 10 feet and it will convert itself to millimeters. So here, as you can see, the conversion is 3,048 meters or millimeters. So that's what I like about Revit is you can easily convert um, dimensions. So right now, what we can do is this will be our floor plan. So let's change our names here. All caps. And then it will change the name right here. So for here, this will be canopy. So that's good. Let's select this one, copy, and then drag it at the top. This will be the garage. So I'm going to select here, select here at the top. So we can put top of garage. Sorry, so copy this one. And this one should be 14 feet. And then we could just select here and change the name. Top of garage. And then again, copy. This will be the, the low and top of the parapet. So we will have uh, different uh, levels in our elevation. So here what it will be. So just add it. So I'm going to add level 5. And then here let's change it to 17 feet. That will be right there. And then low parapet. And then this will be top parapet. Select this one and then this one should be 19 feet. And then here we could just move it up above like so so that everything is showing. And then here what we could do is we could just change the the scale for now so that everything is showing like that okay so now let's go to all our elevation so that everything is looks proper so we're just gonna leave it like that 
you could just move this one right here as well. So east, north. So north, we just need to move this so that we could have this one properly. South. Okay. And then west. We just need to select this one and then move it on the side. And then let's just put the scale a little bit like that so that everything is visible. And then we could just change it back once we're adding it in the uh, sheet. If it's still um, overlapping, we could create a shoulder so I'll, or an elbow. So we could just move it like that, something like that, so that everything is showing. So I'm just going to undo that for now. And then let's just um, fix that later on, if um, depending on the scale that we're going to put in the, in the sheet at the end of the videos. So for now, uh, we have our elevation, we have our floor plan, and if you notice, under our floor plan, it's not showing all of them. So what you could do is you could go view, and then here, what we could do is we could add in our plan views, and then here, floor plan. So it will be under here. So Three of them are, are not showing, so we're going to select all of them by clicking on Shift and then selecting the last one so that it will highlight everything and then press OK. Now everything will be showing here. In the ceiling, we don't need this. Um, I believe we, we, we just need to add it on one of the, probably one of the levels, but for now, we don't need to bother on that. We can just deal with that later on once it comes back. So let's go back to floor plan. Let's select this close inactive views for now. So let's stop here for now and continue on the next video. Thank you for watching and hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.